Now, settle down, because now we have the big one. This is a very, very special award. Every year it's special, every year it seems to get more special because it's our final award and it's for the outstanding contribution. The winners of this award tonight are no less substantial than the previous recipients. Let's take a look. All right, Ben. Oh my God, it's I just, just want to say, don't you think Ben Owen is wicked? Oh, thank you very much. Fantastic job. He must be doing it well because normally they sack him after the first year. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. That's uh, Jerry Spice. And, uh, and a commendation for the compound. That's very, very kind. So, where were we? We're talking about something very important. So let's get back to the dignity. Outstanding Achievement Award lifetime recipients. We're talking about the award of the evening and we are celebrating an extraordinary career in rock and roll. It's a rock and roll story. Let's take a look at it. Don't ask me what I think of you. I'm not the answers that you want me to. Peter Green formed the original Fleetwood Mac in London in 1967. They recorded a string of hits before the stresses of stardom caused Green to quit. Drummer Mick Fleetwood was determined to rebuild the band, and by 1974, the classic lineup of Mick Fleetwood, John and Christine McVie, Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham was in place. And despite the quintet's famously chaotic private lives, all five of the albums they made together entered the American Top Ten. In Britain, Rumours, Tusk, Tango in the Night and Behind the Mask all reached number one in the charts. In 1993, President Bill Clinton asked Fleetwood Mac to play Don't Stop at his inaugural ball. The epic saga of Fleetwood Mac continued. Last year, they recorded a live album, The Dance, which debuted on the Billboard charts at number one. Fleetwood Mac have dominated the album charts for 30 years and sold over 70 million albums worldwide, with Rumours alone selling 33 million. That's going to be worth an outstanding contribution award. What a career. You wouldn't believe it if you saw it in a movie, and you just did. Now, to present this award, it's another legend. I mean, tonight is a dream come true for me, because I want you to welcome on stage the person who I think is unarguably the greatest producer in the history of pop music. Many people say he was the fifth Beatle. Will you please welcome the extraordinary Sir George Martin? Thank you. Every now and then, and not all that often, in our great music scene, a group comes along that knocks everybody by the heels. And I remember in the late 60s, three Brits and two Yanks got together to form a group that became one of the greatest rock groups in the world. And I love what they did then. And I'm so delighted that they've got back together again now and doing, proving that they can do exactly the same now as they did all those years ago. I'd like you to give a special welcome to the great people of Mac. And to that familiar Formula One theme from Fleetwood Max The Chain, here are Christine McVie with Mick Fleetwood, followed by Stevie Nicks and Lindsay Buckingham, and last but not least, bass player John McVie. Brits 98 winners of the Outstanding Contribution Award, Fleetwood Mac. Sir George Martin, none better than to give us this award tonight. Uh, I better make a good speech because I'm uh, dressed like Hamlet, so uh, a short one in terms of what this means to this band, Fleetwood Mac, that was formed way back in 1967 by Mr. Peter Green. And thank you, Peter. And these five people, me being one of them, it's been an incredible journey getting here ups and downs and most of all I think the lesson we've learned is that the love for music is something that's got us through a great deal of turmoil from time to time and we're here we're alive and well and most of all really happy so God bless and thank you well we usually 
quite happy to let Mick do all the talking, but I just wanted to thank the Brit Awards, Great Britain, for this great honour. And uh, we're so thrilled, we're, we're speechless. Thank you so much. And I just want to say thank you for inviting us to England and thank you for giving us this award. It really matters to us. You're so special. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Fleetwood Mac!